What's going on guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, still Winston here, welcome to my channel. Uh, today we are carrying on with my Knights of the Old Republic Let's Play. And uh, yeah, we are now set to embark on the epic quest for the Star Forge. We shall go here. Hmm. Hello, Mission. Hey there. What can I do for you? We'd like to know a little bit more about you. Really? You want to know about me? Nobody's ever really been interested in me before. What do you want to know? How did you and Zell? I'm not going to say that one. I'm going to say, where are your parents? I mean... Big Z's my family, you know? My parents, well, I guess they're dead. It was just me on my own until the day I saw Zalbar in the lower city. I could tell right away he was in trouble. This was before the gang wars were out of the hand. But even then, the Volkers were scum. A few of them were hassling Big Z, trying to pick a fight, but he wasn't looking for trouble. Go on. Anyway, I don't like the Volkers at the best of times. And when I saw them picking on this poor Wookiee, all alone on a strange planet, overwhelmed by the big city, I just lost it. I screamed out, leave him alone, you core slimes, and charged right at them. Well, one of them saw me coming and slapped me so hard he just about knocked me cold. Smacking a kid? They've got no class. Hey, don't treat me like I'm a little girl. I ain't no kid. I'm 14 years 14? old. 14? Those Volkers didn't scare me. They're not, nothing but cowards. I knew how to deal with them. Of course, I never got the chance. I guess Zalbar didn't like seeing me get smacked around. He let out this howl and yanked that Volker a meter up, up off the ground and held him there by his throat. Like, um, <clears throat> like the Undertaker. Uh, what the other two do? The other two screamed and ran off. Can't say I blame them. The first time you see an angry Wookiee up close, it isn't a pretty sight. I thought Zalbar was gonna rip that punk's arms off and beat him to death with his own fists. The Volker was so scared, he fainted. Or maybe it was Big Z's breath just knocked him out. Ugh. I keep telling Zalbar to brush those choppers of his, but he never listens. Just stay up when when he's speaking and you'll be fine. Anyway, I knew those Volkers would be back with friends. So I grabbed Zalbar and we took off. Ever since then, we've been a team. We look out for each other, you know? Yes, they would have been back. And in greater numbers. How did you survive before you met Zalbar? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You think I can't take care of myself? I've got street smarts. I know how to get by on my own. In fact, I look out for Zalbar more than he looks out for me, you know? Big Z is a little bit too gullible to make it alone on the mean streets of the lower city. Yeah, I can kind of guess that. Well, how did Zalbar end up there? He was fleeing some kind of trouble back on Kashchik. That's all I know, really. Big Z doesn't like to talk about it. In case you didn't notice, he's the strong, silent type. Doesn't much matter to me, though. I, I accept him for what he is, not what he was. Me and Zalbar like to live in the present. Well, we should get back to it then. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Like I used to tell my brother, fast talk and slick words don't get the job done. I didn't know you had a brother. My brother's a touchy subject, you know. It just so happens, I don't, I don't really feel like talking about him right now. N nothing personal. Let's just get back to the business at hand, okay? All right. Well, I'm an only child, so I don't really know about all that. Yeah, they don't understand either group that actually plays into um, Knights of the Old Republic 2. Uh, it's a bit of a plot point. Whoa, okay. 
I just went whim. Right, anyway. Actually, yeah, we only have two credits. Uh, I'm just going to go back and just sell some stuff real quick. Uh, I'll be fine on my own. I mean, it's like we're in the Jedi Academy, you know, I'm not I'm not just going to step out and suddenly there are five dark Jedi or Sith aiming lightsabers at my throat. Hmm. Hello, sir. Yeah, 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 blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah. Right, I'm gonna give you this heavy combat suit. These red crystals. And that'll do. Actually, I will immediately double back and get two medkits from you. Blah, 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 come on. Sorry for this, folks. Right, actually, just one will be fine, I suppose, because we have force powers now. Mm-hmm. Yep. This is, um, this is when the, uh, game really opens up now, you know? This is when you embark on the quest. Right, come on. I suppose one of the good things about playing this on this old game is, um, you just glitch out sometimes and you just go flying. Right. Yeah, this is the galaxy map. And I've already decided where we're going to go. We are going to Tatooine! This is, um... Just trying to remember Tatooine... Uh, yeah, this is like... Uh, I'd say my third favorite planet. Uh, we're going here to pick up another party member as well. Um... I would say, out of the four, my least favorite will be Manan. Uh, number one, probably Korriban. Meanwhile, and elsewhere... Lord Malik, the Star Forge is operating at 200% capacity, far beyond our expectations. I am more interested in the young Jedi Bastila and her battle meditation. Have you learned how she escaped the destruction of Taris? She was aided by Karth Onasi, a decorated war hero of the Republic and a legendary soldier. During the Mandalore Wars, he was honored many times yeah. for his bravery. You know this man? Yes. Malak, he served under me when I still followed the Republic. You could say I was his mentor. Interesting. How did you acquire this information, Admiral? An eyewitness, Lord Malak. <gasps> you! You! Kalo Nord, a bounty hunter, was there when Bastila and Karth escaped the planet. Apparently, they left him for dead. A Jedi and a war hero. It's a wonder you survived the encounter. I am hard to kill, Lord. I'll Kalo. say. Kalo has agreed to help, help us capture the young Bastila for a very hefty fee, of course. But I assure you, he is well worth the price. His reputation as a bounty hunter is well earned. Her companions are nothing to me, Kalo. But I desire the young Jedi taken alive, if at all possible. Lord Malak, forgive me. There is something else. May we have a private audience away from the ears of the, the common soldiers? I trust you are not wasting my time, Admiral Carath. I promise you will be very interested in what Kalo has to tell you about Bastila's other companions, Lord Malak. <clears throat> R 
Boom! Okay, so we're having another dream now. Okay. Hmm. That must be where the the map is. And we touch down. A ten out of ten landing. The force has given us a, a vision, like the one we shared on Dantooine. Did you see it? Of course. You must have. The force is strong with us both. Tatooine is known for little but blowing sand. I find it surprising that there would be a star map somewhere in its desolate wastes. It looked like it was in some kind of cave. A star map would li likely have to be within some kind of shelter to protect it against dust and sandstorms. I suspect there are many such caves and caverns hidden in the sands of the Dune Sea. The creatures of this world probably use them as their lairs. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Oh, I'm spazzing out again. <laughs> oh, look at him go. Okay, I'm putting this in a compilation video. Anyway, right. Oh, hey, Zalbar. Not right, what do you mean? All right. Hmm. Well, we'll check that out later. Anyway, let's, um... Hit the upgrade bench. I shall give myself a red crystal. Oh yeah, that's better. And I'll upgrade your stuff, why not? Okay, uh, let's take Jahani and Bastila. Welcome to Anchor Head, potential customer. Zerka Corporation stands ready to serve. After some formalities, of course. First, your ship is not on our list of plan and arrivals for today. There is a docking fee of 100 credits because of this. What do I get for my 100 credits? The immediate benefit is access to these very docking facilities. This is the only port in Anchorhead. Once you've paid, we will offer trade services as well. We're not unreasonable, we just want to cover our expenses. Fine, fine, I'll pay. I thought you would. Without these fees, Zerka Corporation would have closed this port years ago. 
This will cover any future landings as well. It's like a registration, so we can serve you better when you return. Now, as a customs officer, I can provide information on services. Is this visit business or pleasure? Yeah, actually, we need to get going. As you wish. If you need anything else, I'll be here. Right, so Jahani has joined our party. She is a Jedi Guardian. Uh, treat injury. And awareness. Uh, Jahani is going to be a very, very, like, you know, power offensive fighter. That's what Guardians are, so... Okay, so... Take that, give you that. Yes. Okay, let's go. Hello there, sir. He got McTuanjus. Just show me what you have for sale. Um get this. Uh. uh what shipment was that again? Excuse me, did you say Gizka? Hey, you get back here. I Yeah, I don't have time for that right now. Let's go. <clears throat> uh, whatever's happening, I'm sure Karf and the rest of them can deal with it. Hey, what's up, Bastila? How can I help? You have something you want to ask me? I do. How did you know? Educated guess from where you keep staring. I'm a Jedi. I am far too disciplined to betray my emotions with outward physical displays. We both know the real reason you have some idea of what I'm thinking, the bond we share. Maybe. Our connection allows us glimpses into each other's mind. We can feel some of what the other feels, and what I feel within you troubles me. A Padawan must receive considerable training. They must learn to control their emotions and darker impulses. Often it takes years before using the Force can be considered safe. The fact that you are so strong in the Force and have had such relatively little training could have terrible consequences. For you, and for everyone around you. 
Yeah, you could warn me when I do something bad. Blink once for dark side, twice for light. This is not a joke. The choices you make could affect both our destinies. Not to mention the fate of the Republic and the entire galaxy. There is much at stake. Thankfully, you've exhibited a degree of compassion and self-control up to this point. I sincerely hope you can maintain these traits in the future. We must all resist the influence of the dark side. It's everything we are fighting against. This is doubly important for you, with your natural affinity for the Force. I will try. That's good to hear. Without the proper training, however, I'm afraid you will find the path difficult even with the best of intentions. There is great danger ahead for both of us. Our destinies are intertwined. Everything one of us does will have consequences for the other. Any reckless behavior on your part is likely to affect me as well. Yeah, it works both ways, doesn't it? Yes, that is true. I will do my best to guide you, but, but I am no master. Not yet. And there are times when I find the sheer the strength of your power overwhelming. Your power could be a gift or a curse. When you need guidance or advice or support, I will do my best to help you stay on the path of the light. I would appreciate any help you can offer. I only hope I have the wisdom to help you through the dark times. But for now, we should return to our mission. Right up. Oh, hello. Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Terrace alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. Bring it on, ugly. Oh god, I'm already I'm already on there. I'm already near death. Oh, I'm disabled. Somebody protect me! Ow! God damn it, we're getting stun locked here. Come up on you. Thank you. Hey, get him. Stomp him on the ground. That's the way. You have fallen. Uh, Seth Assassin Pistol. Short lightsaber. Oh. I am going to put that robe on. Oh yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Well, we were just out of a fight, but... Hey, Johanny. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? Yeah, I was wondering if we could talk. What is it you would like to speak to me about? How did you become a Jedi? How I came to be a Jedi? I am sure you would not find it very interesting. Are you sure you would like to hear? Yeah, go on. Well, it, it goes back a number of years. Back on my home world. We did not see Jedi very often, especially where I lived. Where did you live? The hind end of space. A pit of a world, to be sure, where Jedi rarely tread. But we had heard of them. Well, everyone had, so that is not to be unexpected. Champions of truth, defenders of justice, heroes of the Republic. It was very easy for a child to be enthralled by their image, their mystique. Maybe I was one of those children. Did you meet a Jedi? Yes, 
Yes, I did. When I saw a Jedi for the first time, they lived up to everything my imagination had created them to be. I was old, and maybe a little enamored. Enamored? They were quite striking, especially the tales of their leader. From that moment on, I knew that I would have to try to become a Jedi. To lift myself out of the rut I had been living in for years, and to make a real difference as the Jedi were. <laughs> the foolish delusions of a child, but this child made it happen. As soon as I was able, I left my world and went in search of them. I found them and was accepted. I had been living my dream on Dantooine for several years before you came. Although, perhaps I was not entirely ready for it. Or not completely suited to the task. Otherwise, I would not have fallen. But thanks to you, I have been redeemed. Perhaps I may yet live to see that dream of mine come true. Come, there is much we should do. Let us not waste time talking. Action is what is needed. Well, good on you, Johnny. Okay, so, um... So, we need to get to the desert, but we need to speak about uh, this guy here. No one leaves Anchorhead without proper authorization. Where would I get authorization, then? Only one place, and it means dangerous work. Go to the Zerka office for a hunting license. They sell them for Father's Lodge. Alright, I'll just go in. See the Zerka office for authorization. Uh, I think I'm actually going to end the end this episode here. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, you can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter and Google+. Plus. Uh, I will have links down below for them. Uh, you can also send me an email uh, directly at stillwinstonilvj at gmail.com. And uh, yeah, until the next episode. Uh, this is Still Winston. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.